we gather to celebrate Pentecost in the name of our God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. No mask. We're getting better. <laughs> Let's give praise and thanks to God for the power of the Spirit, for the, um, um, the movement of the Spirit in each of us. Let's ask God to grant us pardon and peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the mystery of today's great feast sanctify your whole church and every people and nation, pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth. And with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, fill now once more the hearts of believers. This we pray through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded and in amazement they asked, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs, Yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, Alleluia. Alleluia. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are great indeed. How manifold are your works, O Lord. The earth is full of your creatures. Alleluia. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord be glad in his works. Pleasing to him be my theme. I will be glad in the Lord. Alleluia. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. Alleluia.
a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God, who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestations of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one Spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My sisters and brothers, the Lord is with you and with your spirit. A reading from the good news of Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the evening of that first day of the week when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst. He said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them. Whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. After Mass last Sunday, someone asked me to preach about the Holy Spirit. It was a nice setup. This is the day to do it. Spirit comes from the Latin word for to breathe. You can tell when there is spirit present. Think of a crowd at a game or a class of students. Sometimes things are quiet, perhaps boring. People are uninvolved. But there are other times when we describe it as spirited a vitality is exhibited there is enthusiasm a palpable energy in fact my favorite image of god is energy in the form of light or lightning no old man with a beard for me god is active churning dynamic the holy spirit is the connecting maintaining power of god On the one hand, the Spirit is the source of our intimate and unique talents and gifts. The Spirit affirms our individualism. It is diverse. But the Spirit can form unity out of diversity when the gifts are put at the service of the community, the common good. At this point, there are many ways to present the Spirit. One of my favorites is to reflect on what I call a personal salvation history. Essentially, look at the path of your life. Reflect on what it took for you to arrive where you are. How did you get where you are? Here's an example. Both my brothers, Mark and Ernie, wanted to be a priest for a while. That was pretty common in the 1950s and 60s and into the 70s. Our family had no money at the time. By the time I came along, I fell in line. I wanted to be a priest too. The same thing could have happened to me. But strangely, and more than coincidentally, several organizations financially supported my vocation. The Lansing Knights of Columbus, the Ladies of Coronado Council in Calumet City, a personal contribution from a man named Mr. Gordon Domes. He belonged to the KSC and gave um, his own personal contribution. I will be forever grateful. My Uncle Liney and Aunt Hilda pitched in. At Villanova, the Sarah Club of Delaware County offered financial support. They all pitched in. 
why didn't this come together for my brothers? Why was I so blessed? I sincerely don't know. As I look back at this, there is a thread that holds it together. When there were obstacles, an abiding grace helped me through. I am so grateful. I'm here because of the grace of God. That is spirit to me. I think with a bit of reflection, you will note certain patterns that reveal a directionality in your life. It might reveal a purpose. There are other ways to describe the Spirit. Sometimes the Holy Spirit is inspiration. The only way to explain it is that I simply knew inside what had to be said or done in any particular situation. There was an inner certainty, and that's the word I like. There's an inner certainty that's tough to explain. You just know it at the core of your being. And this certainty was powerful enough to overcome my low self-esteem at the time, my fear of disappointing others, or of possibly being wrong. That is spirit. It is creative. It is innovative. It promotes unity. And its characteristic is love. These are just a few examples. There are so many, many more. On this day, we celebrate the closeness of the mystery of God that gives us life, that animates us, that provides purpose, and that reveals the very workings of God in our world and within us. This I call the Holy Spirit. I believe this feast ends the Easter season, so for one last time, let's profess our faith by renewing our baptismal promises. Do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of God? I do. Do you renounce the lure of evil and refuse to be mastered by sin? I do. Do you renounce Satan, the father of sin and the prince of darkness? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, born of the Virgin Mary, crucified, died, and buried, risen from the dead, now seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. This is our faith. This is the faith of our church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. For a spirit of peace in our world, in places where there is no peace, in places ripped apart by violence, by um, bias, by prejudice, by hatred, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a spirit of truth and the courage to pursue truth, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for a spirit of love of God and of our neighbor, knowing that as we love our neighbor, we love God. We pray to you, Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a spirit of understanding and compassion and generosity, especially toward the poor, the needy, the homeless, the unemployed, the uninsured, the immigrant, the migrant, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for a peaceful end to the um, school year. We pray for students who will be taking exams this week. I'm thanksgiving for, um, through the cooperation of everyone and everyone's prayer, for a successful school year. We pray to you, Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick. Bridget Albert, Philomena Ahrens, Chris Becker, John Block, Rick Brock, Karen Burns, Matthew Camp, Arlene Cavallone, Joan Dagnes, Chris and Mary Claire Dano, Dave Dempsey, Don Duffy, Mark Erickson, Brian Frank, Rose George, 
Nikki Houlihan, Deacon Bob Kaminsky, Kathy Kinnish, Janice Latz, Bill and Noreen Lionhood, Judy Lukens, Frank Marcoon, Noreen and Bill Lionhood, Ju I'm sorry, uh, Kenny Morris, Joel Nicolau, Carolyn Pollan, April Persichetti, Sarah Ponder, Rich Pataki, Brian Radakovitz, Patrick Rogers, Fred Rohde, Laura Schraub, Alyssa Sheehy, Adele Steffi, Marlene Sturdy, Chuck Tarpey, Mike Venetti, Joel and Rich Walaszak, and Jeannie Williams. And mention in your families those who are sick who you'd like to remember. For all the sick, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls of those who have died and the consolation of all those who grieve, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, hear us, help us, hold us close to your heart. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread and this wine to offer. Earth has given them, human hands have made them. They will become our spiritual food and our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be accepted by our loving God. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all God's holy church. Amen. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us into all truth. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Children of God, the Lord is with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For bringing your paschal mystery to completion, you bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same spirit as the church came to birth opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith 
we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Ron, our Bishop, and all who serve your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God and our Mother of Good Counsel, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Apostles and Martyrs, St. Augustine, St. Rita, St. Monica, St. Thomas of Villanova, St. Nicholas of Tolentine, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With one mind and one heart we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles and you say to us, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of that peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My friends, behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Let us pray. 
O God, you bestow heavenly gifts upon your church. Safeguard, we pray, the grace you have given, that the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force, and that this spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Before I give the final blessing, uh, I thought I was hiding the fact that I was sweating profusely, but the cameraman just told me you might want to address that. Um, we're recording the Mass early for the weekend, and so this morning I was part of a group setting up all the chairs for uh, our graduation, which will at this point be a wonderful celebration, but by the time you get this, it will have been a wonderful celebration. So just to let you know, I came in from 85-degree weather, came in here and said Mass and a little bit of sweat. The Lord is with you, with your spirit. May Almighty God indeed bless us all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. For the last time for this Easter, and if you'll sing it back to me. <laughs> Go in the peace of Christ, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God, Alleluia, Alleluia.